Vanguard and Warzone Season 3 Reloaded is releasing tomorrow. With that, with the help of our friends at Charlie Intel, we do have the patch notes and what to expect for tomorrow's update. We have a lot to go over here. It's going to be... A a lengthy video so i need you guys to do one thing go ahead and open up a new tab and go to youtube.com and look up your favorite tiktok music and put it on in the background because it's gonna be a long video timestamps will be in the description we're going over the vanguard section first and then warzone secondly so if you want to skip to that point you can again down in the description just hit the number and you'll be there i was never good at reading i was a solid c plus student in english class starting off with vanguard season three reloaded so the update should have i believe already arrived i think my playstation already automatically updated for it but the actual release of it is gonna be tomorrow which is may 25th at 9 a.m pt which is 12 p.m et and 5 p.m bst so once again although we have all this information it's not going live until tomorrow to start off we have the new h4 which is arriving tomorrow, which is going to be a slow shooting fire rate SMG. And I believe to unlock it, you're going to have to do three sliding kills in Vanguard or Warzone over the course of 15 different matches. More than likely, we'll see also a bundle tomorrow. So obviously you can just buy that bundle and unlock it that way. Although that's a little weird when it comes to the camos. We are receiving a new map tomorrow as well, and that is called Sphere. Hidden below the surface of an inconspicuous mining facility is a weapons lab that offers intense close quarter engagements around every turn. Jump into the Sphere 24-7 playlist at the start of Season 3 Reloaded. Now with Berlin, they addressed an exploit that allowed players to reach unintended locations near the office. For Castle, the care packages will no longer fall through the stairs near the palace outer walls. Subpens address exploits that allowed players to reach unintended locations near the dry docks and loading dock. Now for modes, we have just an arms race. Riding a motorcycle as it explodes will no longer cause the player's view to rotate, which is a good fix. Operators, we have a new Kim Tae Young, also aka Harpy. Description is trained by her mother as a fighter. Tay donned a mask to conceal her identity while helping families cross the North Korean border to safety. She soon earned a reputation amongst the Korean people as a local folk hero and keeper of justice. Even the briefest glimpse of her Dokebi mask instills hope in her people and fear in her enemies. This is unlocked via Operator Bundle available for purchase in the Season 3 Reloaded. So again, something that you can buy to get. Moving into weapons, the Blixen H4 submachine gun that we were just talking about. This is favored by the Special Operations Forces. This is Kim Tae Young's favorite weapon apparently this hard-hitting smg offers mobility and accuracy and medium range engagements which could seem very viable when jumping into war zone to unlock this like i was talking about get three kills in a single match 15 different times with the stg44 we had challenges for the dead eye camo category are now properly tracked that is crazy that we're this far in and they're just now fixing those kind of things the avt the attack ms stock attachment will no longer obstruct the view of certain optics cooper carbine addressed an issue that prevented the m1941 hard stop under barrel 14 inch crazy rapid barrel and recoil booster muzzle attachments from unlocking at their designated weapon levels For the m1 grant the Mind Games camo category now references the correct magazine attachment requirement. Again, such a simple fix that wasn't fixed prior is crazy. For equipments, the number 69 stun grenade, which is a tactical weapon, decreased explosive damage from 25 to 5. That's insane. Since the start of Vanguard, we've had so many points where people just chuck these stun grenades and they get kills. So hopefully this should lower that quite a bit. The S944 tactical decreased explosive damage in hardcore game modes from 50 to 10. 
That change was made to prevent lethality towards uninjured players. Explosive damage in core game modes remains unchanged. Now our field upgrades with our new er, trophy system. Melee attacks will now properly deal damage to the trophy system. Ammo box field upgrades can now be destroyed by a trophy system. Trophy systems will no longer remain active when thrown out of bounds. Our kill streaks, we have the counter spy planes at four kills. Announcer will now play the correct voice line when an enemy counter plane is activated. Seasonal challenge, the challenges progressing towards the season two mastery challenge is now properly tracked. Again, season two, last season. Come on, come on. User interface and experience players who have reached prestige five or higher. Not even me. I haven't even prestige once. We'll now see the correct prestige emblem displayed throughout the menus. Addressed an issue that forced the player back to the multiplayer menu when using contextual right click menus on PC. For the bundles and cosmetics, we have addressed an issue that prevented AS44 mechanized reactive blueprint from changing colors when affected. Moving from Vanguard to Vanguard Zombies, we have the enemies with Zabala the Deceiver. Shorten Zabala's mass swap animation to reduce invulnerability time. Players can now deal damage to Zabala's body, but should continue to focus on masks. Zabala's electrical attacks are more lethal, but should now spawn within the line of sight to or in the proximity of Zabala. Zabala increases the number of electrical attacks by one for every dis destroyed mask. For the weapon, the new Bixen Blixen machine gun. This is talking about that is favored by the special operation forces. It'll be in zombies via the in game challenges in zombies or a unique blueprint version in the store at the start of season three reloaded. So, just as I guess there will be a blueprint that instead of going through the challenges, you just can buy that if you want. Zombies unlock challenge in zombies, zombies unlock challenge. And zombies use SMGs to eliminate 50 Zabalas. Skull Crusher resolved an issue that prevented picking up blueprint throwable weapons. Last but not least for challenges, the reticles under zombies. Reticles earned in zombies have been adjusted so that a, a central dot is always present to assist with aiming. <laughs> That's a lot for Vanguard, zombies, and multiplayer. And now we're moving over to Warzone, which... I don't think is as lengthy, thank the lord, but let's go ahead and get through this and see what we're looking at. Season 3 Reloaded brings the Serpentine perk. Sprinting reduces incoming damage from bullets, explosives, and fire by 20%. That's incoming damage from bullets, explosives, and fire by 20%, which is crazy. So the Serpentine reduces damage taken while moving, which is a direct counter to sniper rifles. A snake indicator will appear for those who shot at a player with this perk. So when you see it, make sure you let your teammates know who to focus on. That is fucking wild. A perk that allows you to take less damage. That's insane. New items in Warzone Pacific Season 3 Reloaded. We have the Gulag Entry Token. This item offers the holder another chance at the Gulag. That's wild. But only one can be held at a time. This token will deactivate after the gulag is closed, but players receive cash as compensation. Redeploy extraction token. This token simply allows others an automatic redeploy without any need to visit the gulag or buy station. This token also deactivates after the gulag shuts. Now that's good that it shuts after the gulag closes down because that would be a lot that that would just be crazy later in game speed boost this is a buff that can be found in the floor loop once picked up the player will receive a temporary speed boost and then we have radar jammer is a new field upgrade that simply scrambles any enemy's tack map and prevents kill streaks from anyone in a short radius that's a lot of overpowered items coming at the same time and a little worrisome now i don't really play warzone I have a video coming out of me playing Warzone for the first time in a long ass time, but that's wild. Now for the Champion of Caldera, which is a new game mode, a limited time mode coming to Season 3. There are 150 players in this mode that will battle it out 
while a single continuously closing circle edges it. Kills in this mode immediately refill player health, equipment, and ammo, so being aggressive is important. Operators drop into this map with their custom loadout, a gas mask, and a single redeploy extraction token, which means you could get an incredible amount of kills and we'll definitely see world records coming from this, I am sure of it. This mode features a slightly altered item pool as well as an upgraded buy station with the advanced UAV, explosive bow, and even the specialist bonus. Holy crap, that's a lot coming to Warzone. A lot of changes, a lot of that new mode even sounds insane. I might have to re-download Warzone just to try this out. That's going to be wild. And that's all releasing tomorrow. Once again, tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think of all this. Let me know the game that you play and what's your favorite change or least favorite change coming to this. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see y'all in the next one.